Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. Heidi Laga is on assignment. Let's get right to that breaking news on I-10. Both directions are closed between Rita Road and Cole because of a crash and a hazmat situation. Our Andrew Christensen is there with the very latest on this nitric acid spill that is causing all kinds of problems. Andrew. Pat, take a look at this buildup of traffic. Now, this side of the road is flowing a little more smoothly than the other side. The other side is a, as a result of people coming off of the freeway and onto Cold Road. But I want to turn your attention to these sirens right over here. This is what we've been hearing for the past two hours, just law enforcement officials coming up and down Cold Road. Traffic was so bad at one point that they actually couldn't get onto the freeway. Now, they're going just past there. It's flowing a little more smoothly. They are going through those that traffic right over there but i do want to turn your attention over to ua tech park now about an hour and a half ago that's when people were evacuating from there causing even more traffic and even more of a buildup but they have stopped evacuating from there and people are flowing into traffic a little more easily but as far as what officials are telling us dps tells us it's looking into an injury that resulted from a crash that involves a commercial truck now it's a taker that rolled over on I-10 between Rita and Cold Roads. DPS's hazardous materials response unit and other nearby agencies are working to contain the situation. Now so people can stay safe, first responders are evacuating the area. Now right now I-10 is closed in both directions between Rita and Cold Roads. And of course we'll keep you updated on air and online at Kega9.com. Reporting live on Cold Road, Andrew Christensen, Kega9 on your side. Andrew, thank you. Nine on your side is Raina Preciado, also standing by. She's on Irvington near the Boneyard. She's live now, and Raina traffic is backed up uh, for miles there, I'm assuming, still as well. Yeah, Pat, I'm about six miles outside of where the crash happened here on Irvington and Pantano. And as you can see, cars are stacked. People are trying to get to leave work and head east. And as you can see, People are not moving very quickly. People are getting out of work. There's an Amazon fulfillment center nearby. And there are also certain locations being evacuated at this time. So lots of traffic heading in that direction. If we look up on maps, how long it's going to take to just to get to Rita in the I-10, it's an hour from this location. If you are looking to travel in that direction, you can head to our website at kega9.com head to our traffic map on Irvington and Pantano, Reina Preciado, Kega 9, on your side. All right, Reina, dealing with that wind out there as well. Let's recap. All lanes on I-10 between Rita and Kolb Roads are closed. Uh, authorities are actually turning traffic around. We understand they're having them drive the wrong way in those lanes to avoid the hazardous material crash to clear the interstate of all traffic. Reporter Nitric Chris Askell is being picked up by the wind, appearing as an orange-red smoke, as you see in this uh, viewer video. It's toxic to breathe and will burn through your skin and even through metal. U of A has already evacuated. As Andrew said, there's Science and Tech Park. Now the Rita Hampton Inn is evacuating guests there, moving them to wow. another Hampton location. Yeah. Kyler Diggs is going to join us now. And uh, Kyler, uh, it has been the weather that's a prominent feature with that wind that obviously is contributing to the dangers of right. this hazmat incident. Right, playing a big role in that situation out there this afternoon. So I've zoomed in on the southeast side of the metro area to take a look at the current wind. As your liar, you professional the wind liar. Is south southwest. Let's zoom in even more where it's right in this area. That's the real trouble spot. That's about where the accident is. And that wind is out of the south southwest. Sustained wind speeds 15 to 25 miles an hour, but. As you could tell in Raina's microphone, we're getting some wind gusts much higher than that. Some of the wind gusts coming in some around spread. 35, 40 yep. miles an hour. And again, all of that, anything that's in the air, will be blowing off to the north, northeast. And as we take a look from our Tumamak Hill cam, there you can see I-10. And uh, this is out by Keno, the soccer oh field God. on the south side of Keno Sports Complex, if you're familiar with that and look at that traffic right there all the way around just at an absolute standstill of course the uh, camera is shaking around pretty good there Real as far as the poor. rest of southeastern Arizona Here's we Askel. continue to see sustained Have winds anywhere from 25 to 35 miles an hour some of the wind gusts up around 50 miles an 